Welcome, in front of me is a My Phone Pocket and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see the device in front of me is locked and without the proper uh, email and password for that email I won't be able to set up the device. So to bypass this we'll need a couple things. Number one is a Wi-Fi connection which I already have connected as you can see by the connection right here. And then the second thing is a SIM card with a contact, any kind of contact on it. And as you will also see, I already have inserted that as well. So once you insert a SIM card, you might want to restart the device, just reboot it. And from there, let's go back to the first page. There we go. So once you're on the first page, after you connected to Wi-Fi and inserted the card and rebooted the device, what you want to do is tap on emergency call, emergency information, tap on that twice. And then the pencil right here our contact and right here I have a list of contacts that I can choose now if you open this up and it's empty just give it a couple seconds and it should load up all the contacts it just might take a couple seconds for it to uh, read all the contacts from your sim card um, so once you see any kind of contact just choose anyone it doesn't matter and from there once you select any contact it will show up here as an emergency contact tap on it and tap on the three dots and go into share and from share you have a bunch of options but we're interested in the gmail so instead of tapping on it you want to hold the option when you hold it it gives you additional options like right now pin or app info so tap on app info app notifications additional settings in the app then tap on the three dots right here go into help and feedback and let me just close this so it looks the same way as it is for you uh, so there we go so that's how it should look like for you so from here you want to search for use morse code or just start typing in morse code um, o r and it seems to just writing the first three letters seems to do the trick so use morse code first option and here i have the video so you want to tap on it it will start loading and then tap on the name of the video and this will take you to YouTube let me just quickly pause this so slide it down tap on the account icon settings about YouTube terms of service and they should open up browser let's accept continue next and no thanks we don't want to log in so from here you want to tap on the search field and navigate into hard reset that info website and let's go so once it loads tap on the three bars right here this will bring up a menu and you want to select download now in a download search you will search for Android 8 so let me just tap on the search field and type that in okay and let's search for it and it should bring up only one app as you can see there is nothing else so the FRP bypass, uh, Google account protection bypass and Android 8 application. Tap on a download for it and then scroll down. And you should have another download link right here. So tap on that one, continue, allow and download. And okay, and it should download fairly quickly. So tap on open. And before we can install, we will need to allow installation from Chrome. So allow from this source, go back and install. And once it's done installing, we'll open it up. So from the app right here, as you can see, you have two options. So number one, we're gonna start off by choosing the Google account manager APK. 
or Google account, yeah, APK, and it's missing a word actually in there. That's the Google account manager APK install. Um, and select for version 6.0. And again, let's go into the settings and choose that and then go back and install just the same way as we did for Chrome. But this time around, once it installs, you just want to click on done. And then let's go to the second one, bypass FRP, select browser sign in, and then tap on the three dots right here. And again, choose browser sign in, and this should bring up the Chrome. And there it is, or not Chrome, but Google. Um, so, and here you can use any kind of account that you have uh, to log into Google, uh, assuming it's a Google account. If you don't have one, you can always go to uh, on your computer to Google and just create one. It doesn't matter if it's new or old. Uh, it will. You just need one to log in with. So from here, I'm gonna put in my account. Let's tap on next. And now put in the password for it. So give me a second. I'm gonna put it off the screen. And then you want to choose login, which I just have, and it starts logging in. And once it's finished, it goes back to the app. So from here, hold power key and select restart. Okay, so now that it has loaded, let me quickly put in a pin for my SIM card. So we're back in the setup screen. So this time around, again, we're gonna go to the setup process. Uh, now, key difference that you'll see, how we're connected. So let's just skip. Or it didn't connect. Let me go back to just make sure that everything works. There we go. Now at this moment, you just want to go to these wrappers as quick as possible and don't bother setting up anything, really. And here's this previous screen that would tell us that we need to verify our account. Now it says account added and provides the account that I have added right before the restart of the device. So there it is. So we can now tap on next. And then, not now, skip anyway. So like I said, just try to skip as much as you can. It doesn't really matter what we set up. So after the setup, you should be on your home screen. So from here, we're gonna go into the settings. So let's open up settings and then scroll down to system, reset options, erase all data, factory reset. And it gives you a message what will remove and one of the messages that it says it will be your google account and provides it neatly right here but it also removes the previous account that was blocking us so i just said reset phone erase everything and get rid of both of those so after the reset we will be then greeted again with the android setup screen but at that point we can then go to the setup process of the device as however we like the device will be fully unlocked uh, and ready to use so I'll be back once we can actually see the setup screen. So now the process is finished and again, I need to put in the pin for the SIM card. Oops, I put it in wrong, I guess. Okay, so there we go. So now the device is unlocked and you can set it up as however you like. Once more, I will just go through a quick setup without actually adding anything specific, but 
Number one that I will point out is the fact that once we proceed here, you can skip the connection to Wi-Fi, which if the device would be still locked, you would not be able to. So let's skip this. Next. Next. Not now. Now you can set, it, set up protections, login uh, to your Google, uh, add your Wi-Fi, whatever you want. It will all work normally as it should. And there we go. So we're now on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.